Welcome to the Art Lady channel. Today we're going to be doing a paper collage. And this is a third grade student's example of a fish under the sea collage. Artists have been doing collages for hundreds of years. George Barak and Pablo Picasso made collage famous in their cubist pieces of artwork. Collaging is using cut paper, torn papers, you can even use magazines. And here we used scrapbooking papers and the papers are glued on to the piece of artwork. You can embellish and enhance once you glue on your pieces. Today we're gonna to be collaging and we're gonna be using a background paper and I just have this nice large light purple paper. So the first thing we wanna do is, I'm gonna just move some of this scrap paper and paper out of the way. The first thing we wanna do is we're, we wanna decide on the sand line. So we're gonna draw in our sand. So when you get your paper, we're gonna go ahead and put a sand line down. Now this is one option. And then for the sand line, we can do some texture. Just by lightly pressing in with our marker, we can give texture. We don't want to smash the marker. The marker should not make noise, okay? Just light texture. And of course, you can have any kind of sand you want at the bottom of your ocean. So you can put different colors in, which look great. So that's the first thing, sand line. Another option for sand line is to take some scrap paper. Let me just turn this over so I have a blank spot here. This is just some scrap scrapbooking paper, but you can use any color paper you want. And I'm just gonna tear this in half. So I just tear down the middle. And when I tear it, I go kind of slow as I tear. And this will give me some really cool bumpy edges. And then we're gonna glue this on. And part of collage is either cutting, tearing, and then gluing on to another surface. So when we collage, we're going to use a glue stick. So we just pop the top off. And if the glue stick is not showing on the top a little bit, I can see a little bit here, so I really don't need to turn it. But if it's not, you just turn it one turn. See my wrist? I just turn it one time, just like this. And it'll come up a little bit. I really don't need it up much. So I'm gonna turn it back. Then what we do is we're just gonna put a little bit of glue on here, on our scrap paper. And we don't need to cover the entire thing with glue. All we're gonna do is just draw a line down and a line on this side. Let me show you so you can see it. There's really not much glue there. Now we just simply place it down on our paper where we want it. And I'm gonna do the same for this side, one, two. So if you notice how fast that is, I'm not going back and forth and rubbing. This is real sticky and it'll do the trick. So I press that down. And now for collaging, we're gonna add shapes. And we can use our imagination because this is an under the sea collage. And I just have some scrap buckets of scrap shapes here, and we can use our imagination. This could be a sea anemone or a sea urchin or coral. If you just have scraps like this that your teacher provides, you can just tear this into a freeform shape, meaning a shape that doesn't have a recognizable name like a square rectangle circle. Then I can glue this on. This could be my coral reef. Okay, so I'm just gonna use this as part of my coral reef, this black shape here. So I do the same process, just draw a little bit of line, place it down. Now, what we do in my class is we do one shape at a time, then we decorate this shape. So now I can come back and decorate it. So I decorate with lines or pattern. I can even decorate with little coral polyps. Oh, yeah. So this could be the coral polyps coming out. 
And this would be the hard rock of the coral because sometimes they have these living tentacles kind of coming out of the coral. So take a few minutes and you decorate each item you glue down. When you're done, then you help yourself to another item, okay? So for example, say I'm gonna do this jellyfish. I would decorate the jellyfish and then I would glue it down. Now I would spend a lot more time decorating that jellyfish and then I would glue that down wherever I want it. When you take a shape or you can cut out your own shapes, you decorate the shape, glue it on, you can have it overlap even what you already have. Do the process of gluing, okay? Decorate the shape and then you can add more things to this. I'm gonna show you how to do some waves. You can draw in the waves. And one of my students said, well, Miss Blushy, there's no waves underneath the water. Well, yeah, there is, there's underwater currents. So you can draw underwater currents. So for underwater currents, I would draw several lines and I would not start and stop them at the same place. So I wouldn't put three in a row like this. I would make one longer and one medium and then one short. So I would stagger where they start and stop. Can add more even like that. You can also tear and go slow when you tear. And this could become the current or the water texture. It's really kind of nice too. So I could put this down and again, glue it. So that could be my water texture as well. So I would just glue it. I'm gonna move this over here. Add one little layer of glue, place it down. And then I had a student suggest bubbles. You can add even underwater bubbles. So here's some, and you can combine torn paper with hand-drawn waves, okay, for another effect. And then of course you want your bubbles, they come out of the mouth, and then they slowly get a little bit bigger as they go up. I'm gonna put one half off here. You can even put a bubble highlight and then you can even color in the bubble, make a little white bubble. I'm just using a bit of oil pastel for that. So have fun creating your collages and then I'll show you what my students came up with. And here's the completed fish collage with paper collaged here and here for waves and water movement under the sea. And then I added pattern and texture here in the scales. And I didn't just stop at one layer of pattern. You notice I started with the dots here, but I also did some more scale texture with just a curved line underneath each one. So we wanna go a little elaborate on our patterns and textures. And I started adding more not just one line of color. Let's see if you can see it here. I did two lines. So I have some dark green with some purple. And then of course I added my bubbles. And then I added some really nice texture in this coral reef here with some white oil pastel. Or you could use a white crayon or a white colored pencil. So there is some texture details. And here is a finished collage I did with my kindergarten students. And I'll show you some examples of their artwork. And we did a little mini coral reef. And the coral reef protects the baby fish and of course the seahorses. 
We added lots of texture on the seahorse and the coral. This is our coral reef here with our living coral coming out. And then we used warm colors for the sand. And we added some baby fish that like to hide in the cracks of the coral when predators come. They use the coral reef as protection. So there's lots of fish and activity living around a coral reef. Now, if you stick around, you'll see some of my student examples. And this is from grades kindergarten through third grade. And here's some kindergarten art examples of our beautiful collaged coral reef. <laughs> 